The gain is what determines the overall brightness of your image. The gain setting depends on personal preference as well as the amount of light in the area in which you're performing your scan. To change the gain, press the gain button at the bottom left of the keyboard so that it pops out. Then turn the knob clockwise to make the image brighter or anti-clockwise to make the image darker. If the image is too bright or too dark, then you might miss some detail. Time gain compensation adjusts the gain in either the near field or far field of the image. Pop out these buttons and then turn each one as necessary to ensure you have an even brightness of picture. To adjust the depth, press the depth up and down keys found to the top left of the tracker pad. Press the down button to increase your depth and the up button to reduce scan depth. Make sure you're not missing any information off the bottom of the screen by being too shallow a depth and also make sure you're getting a good large image of the region of interest by not having this set too deep. There is a number on the bottom right hand side of the screen to indicate your depth in centimetres. When using the linear probe on the screen, the image will get wider or narrower depending on the depth that you're at. Frequency. As you adjust your depth, remember to adjust your frequency at the same time to improve your image quality. Frequency is adjusted using the top left soft key. Notice on the screen that the options for frequency are res, gen and pen. These are short for resolution, general and penetration. High frequency waves give the best image resolution, res, and low frequency waves give the best penetration, pen, for deeper depths, but resolution is compromised. General is in the middle. Always aim for the highest frequency you can and reduce when scanning deeper. The exact megahertz of each setting will depend on the probe you are using. Always try to remember to adjust your frequency as you adjust your depths to ensure you have an optimised image. Focal points. The sites place several focal points throughout the screen automatically. There is no way to adjust the number or position of focal points on a site. The machine will select appropriate focal positions depending on the depth and frequency you are scanning at.